Leo, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for your love and support. We are going to tap into your weekly energy reading. You can have Leo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or North Node, okay? So this particular reading, um, and thank you guys for your support because lately you guys have definitely been getting a bonus reading at the end of every week. Uh, make sure you check that out. So you guys are getting two readings. Make sure you like the videos. Drop a comment below. I do talk back. I love to see your comments. That also helps your video circulate so that you can make sure that you have the most views on the channel to continue to get your bonus reading on Fridays, okay? Um, I'm also doing quick minute uh, shorts, okay? So you can check those out under the shorts tabs. Um, I'll be doing them for all of the signs that I read for. I'm going to get in rotation to at least drop one short a day, okay? So even if your sign is not coming out for a weekly energy reading, you may end up having a short uh, message posted for for you okay in the shorts so I'm, I'm trying to find my flow with the shorts and with the long form content because YouTube is pushing shorts and not long term long uh, long uh, long content okay so I really want to do shorts like every single day but I know that I need to um, you know push the long form content but i digress all right so keep in mind energy is fluid reverse the roles as need be okay this is a general reading take what resonates and leave the rest if you would like a personal reading please click the description box below visit my website and you can book your personal reading there okay and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and join the god squad supreme gratitude okay spirit please provide me with the message for the collective of leo weekly energy reading shay getting like i'm feeling very excited right so there's something that you guys are feeling extremely excited about right could have butterflies in your stomach just like oh my god oh my god right i'm getting the oh my god feeling oh my god all right so you have the okay you have the tower in reverse you have the eight of pentacles you have the page of swords okay you have the uh ace of pentacles Ooh. When I tell you they popping out, you have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Three of Wands, you have the Three of Cups, you have the Nine of Wands, you have the Strength Card, you have the Page of Cups, so one more, and you have the Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I told you I was getting an excited feeling. Yeah, you have uh, the sun card at the bottom of the deck. So it's something that you're going to be extremely happy about, okay? Um, someone, you know, had to make a decision. I f what I'm getting is like it's someone that you may have withdrawn your energy from, okay? Um, and you had to make the choice, okay? Unless you're dealing with another fire sign and they had to make the choice. But I feel like there's someone that you have withdrawn your energy from and you are like, you know what? I don't want to, you know, I don't want to keep looking looking back at this. I feel like you may have tried to move forward, living your best life, but you couldn't get this person off of your mind, okay? You couldn't get this person off of your mind. So there's action that's being taken to accept someone's offer or to have some type of communication to move forward all right this week all right so i see something like that, a tower moment like un, you know um coming back together uh trying to rebuild and establish something in a solid foundation this is going to take hard work okay this is not going to be an easy task but it's going to take hard work and some patience to get the outcome that you want all right um there is communication about okay well let's just see where this goes and i feel like that could be you or your person, right? Uh, energy is fluid, so reverse the roles. But it's like a conversation this week, like, okay, let's just see where this goes, okay? And it has a lot of potential with the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? I feel like there's a lot of potential in this situation. Also, you know, someone could be getting a new job, okay, or a, um, a renewance in finances this week, all right? Now, you have been, like, waiting for something to happen, like, waiting for something to change, waiting to get this flow um, in your particular life. You could be dealing with the air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra here, all right? Um, but I see like this is finally moving how you want it to move. Okay. You and this person could be friends. Okay. Or could have been friends and you.
you were working at, you know, uh, trying to figure out what needed to be done here. Um, very resilient. A lot of work that, you know, you had put in to the point where, you know, at some point you felt as though you were the only one putting in work for this situation. You were the only one, you know, uh, um, working at it. And now someone, someone sees the value of you. Someone sees that what you were bringing to the table, right? And so now with the strength card, your energy here. It's like you're having strength and courage to want to go back and give it one more time. One, go back and give it one more shot. Go back and indulge, you know, look, one more again. <laughs> go back in and try to make it work again, right? Um, you know, having having high hopes, okay? You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all right? But it's like you don't hate this person and you don't want to argue with this person. You don't want to be in conflict with this person. It's just like, you know, now they're trying. You're like, okay, you got one more time. One more time. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what I'm hearing. One more time. That's going to be your title. One more time. All right. Any more messages for Leo? So whatever, that, that one that you said, I'm done and I'm not going back. Yeah, this is, the, this is the week for that one more time. You know, just one more time this week. Yeah. Cancer energy. Yeah. I, and I see it being successful. You guys are soulmates. Okay. Whoever this particular person is, is it so makes you're going to renew this relationship, re rekindle what you guys have going on, okay? Um, you will not be defeated. They will not be defeated, all right? But with the cherry card here, I do see you guys moving forward because both of you guys are determined now. I feel like whatever point you was trying to get across, this person felt as though they lost you for good and they are not with it. Yeah, you could be the breadwinner of the situation as well. You could be the one that made it happen or this is your person but they want to renew love someone could have capricorn ties virgo in a prominent placement in their chart but they want to renewal in love okay they want to start over they like okay psych your mind okay leo you was you was cool and i just took it for granted there you go more water energy okay so somebody definitely could have pisces cancer scorpio with all the water that's coming up here um in in, in this particular reading okay um, somebody's like, you know, let me love you down. Okay. I apologize for, you know, not being the best. I apologize for not, um, being, uh, not acknowledging you. Okay. This person may even be, may even come in and say, okay, well we can hold out on sex, um, until, you know, you figure out what, you know, figure out if I've gotten on the right track. Like this person is coming in, putting themselves on punishment as long as they can get back in with you. Okay. As long as, yeah, they want to restore balance within this particular connection, okay? They thought that you gave up on them. They thought that they thought that things were over when it came to you. This communication is like, you know, the, the, the communication starting back up, it is justice, okay? Someone could have been talking to somebody about getting a divorce, communicating like, nope, we're done. Uh, or there could have been like real talks on getting a divorce, you know, ending something here because someone here was very toxic, all right? So definitely more air energy, you know, you could have been dealing with uh heavy heavy on the uh, uh pisces cancer scorpio heavy on the aquarius gemini libra energy here they could have it in a prominent placement in their chart so you could have felt that like this person was toxic so you were moving towards a divorce or you were moving towards child support something with the legal system okay having that type of conversation or just you know you communicating in spirit uh working in the mix to bring this connection back together okay doing what needed to be done within this connection giving it one more time okay starting over fresh someone could have gotten a new job Right, they weren't holding their part down. They now have a job, and they're like, "No, no, no, I'm straight now. I, I got a job. I can help out. I can do what needs to be done." You know what I'm saying? They carefully thought about what's happening. They've been manifesting this. I don't see you taking a blind leap of faith, just going all in. But I do see that you are there, right? Your ten of swords is in reverse, so you're not walking away. You're not. It's not completely over. But you're like, okay, I'm gonna do me until you show me that you've gotten things right. You and this person could also have children together okay but heavy on the marriage energy that i'm getting here or a very long-term connection that you have with this particular person like you love them a lot all right so you could be independent and successful yourself or that's your person and you're like i don't really have to go through this so what, why are you putting me through this right empress energy so yeah divine connection soulmate connection a lot of love this is wish fulfillment on both of you guys' part but someone here is just like, I, I don't want to have to go through this anymore. I don't want to have to hurt anymore. We're doing this, you know, we're doing this for, for nothing. And and someone really sees that, hey, like, I messed up and I don't want to be in this energy anymore, okay? So, 
Let's see. Let's pull you some messages from the soulmate deck because those that message was so heavy. It's like you're not letting the person go, but you're like, I'm, I'm going to let you show me that you're serious this time. Which is which is a smart decision, might, might I add. Okay. Very smart decision, might I add. This is for the collective of Leo Spirit. But you had a lot of messages come out, so that's where it is, acceptance, okay? Accepting yourself and others as they are uh, liberates patterns of resistance and opens the flow. So, some, you know, I mean, look at this connection from a place of love. Like, you love this person, they love you. Allow this person to be who they are. Allow this person to be who they are and accept them for who they are, but still have respect and boundaries in place, okay? This connection supports healing on Gaia in higher realms. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, so source is definitely in the mix in this. Forgiveness is a liberating choice. So there's going to be a need to forgive, all right? Um, some people say, I'll forgive you, but I'll never forget, okay? And that's okay. But if you're one of the people that because you don't forget, <laughs> I ain't forget about that. You, you can't bring it up. You know what I'm saying? Every chance you get. Come on, Leo. We know Leo with the ego. You know I ain't forget about that. Da, da, da. We know. Calm down. Less is from Jupiter, okay? Jupiter is the a planet about planet of luck, okay? Align, demonstrate, and express values and beliefs you have learned about love. Be open to new ways. The, the, the results are healing and expansive. So, yeah, it's like you're, you're, sh this person has to show you. You know what I'm saying? They got to show you that they put in the work. They got to show you that they truly value you. They got to show you that they're ready to act right. They got to show you that they're no longer going to be playing games, right? And this is basically what this card is saying. Like, you're going in saying, okay, I'm here, but show me that you've changed now. And normally it's Leo saying, okay, well, we can do this, and then you don't require anything. So it's like you now you're requiring something with this one more time, right? Good thing. Mutual symbolic, this is a beneficial and balanced connection. Both partners have the same feelings, ideas, values, and shared life goals. Soulmate connection, twin flame. Take a chance. You can't grow in your comfort zone. Stepping into the unknown is trusting the universe. Go for it. So you got to take a chance and distance. There's too much distance to maintain this connection, okay? So, so you have to go for it. But at this time, if you stay emotionally distance from this person of course it's not going to go anywhere but what you are doing what you are doing is great right um, allowing this person to come in you can't maintain it from a distance but allowing them back in on the outer realm to show you and put in the work that they have changed is a great thing to keep the connection going if there will be a connection okay so I, hopefully this person got it right with all of this here you know this this got some old uh my 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 energy on it you know uh baby i'm ready and you know all of those old rb songs you know like this person is like i'm sorry i get it now so hopefully they actually get it and not just trying to disturb your energy just to get you uh to let them back in to continue a cycle here so good stuff coming in leo um you're going to be the hot topic this week <laughs> i say